Hello everyone. Let us continue with the one of owned sources that is retained earning. Retained earning means that the part of profit which is kept aside for the reinvestment in the business for the future. At the end of year, a company or every businessman gets the profit and that profit is not generally distributed among the shareholders as the dividend. A part of that profit is retained in the business for the reinvestment in future. This is known as the retained earning. The retained earning is named as the kind of profits which is available for flowing back. That is reinvestment. That is self-financing. The part of profit which is available for flowing back in the organization, it may depend on several factors. That how, The factors may be how much is the net profit. Is there any sufficient profit that which can be retained or which can be reinvested in the business? That whatever profit is there, isn't it required for distribution of dividend? And what is the age of organization? That means the, how, from how many years a business is doing, a business concern is working. That means the profit will be retained if sufficient net profits are there. It is not compulsory for the company to distribute dividend. And the company is working since uh, longer times. That's why the company can retain the profits. These factors are to be considered. What are the merits of retained earning? What are the benefits of retained earning? The retained earning is a permanent source of funds available in the organization. It is not to be returned back. It, second one is it does not involve any explicit cost. Means company ka paisa hai, company ne kisi ko koi interest nahi dena iske liye, koi dividend pay nahi karna, kisi tarah se like shares issue karte time different expenses incur hote hai, wo expenses incur nahi honge. So it doesn't involve any explicit cost. As the funds are generally generated internally, so there is a greater degree of operational freedom and flexibility. Means, aapka apna paisa hai, company ke apne funds hai, company is free to use it any of the way. And when you will be having funds in your pocket, that means, if any loss exists in the business, then company can absorb such kind of losses also. The another one is, it may lead to increase in the market price. Company ki pocket mein paisa hai, company ki financial position sound hoti ja rahi hai. To it would lead to the increase in market price of equity shares of a company. But a retaining of earning also suffers from a limitation that sometime excessive flowing back, excessive retaining of profit may cause dissatisfaction among the shareholders because the chances of getting lower dividends may increase. Companies having sufficient profits or limited profits with uh, itself and if the company is retaining all those profits, that means company is not distributing the dividend, so it may cause dissatisfaction among the shareholders. And it's not certain that company will be having sufficient profits if in the future. That means company ko nahi pata ki company ke paas sufficient profits honge or company will be able to retain. Wo to jab company ko profit ho jayenge, then company can uh, decide ki ab in profits ko kaise use karna hai. That's why company is retained earning is an uncertain source of funds suppose my retained earning per depend rehti hu or sufficient profits nahi hote company ko to company ne jin projects ke liye apne funds ko retain karna tha wo incomplete reh jayenge 
and sometimes the opportunity cost associated with these funds is not recognized by the many firms which may lead to suboptimal use of the funds means aisa bhi ho sakta hai ki funds ko retain karne ki bajaye agar humne kahin se reinvest kar diya hota aur humne shareholders ko dividend distribute de diya hota to perhaps company ke share ke prices mein kisi tarah se increase aa jata to ab humne profit retain kar liye wo nahi ho paya so it, the opportunity cost is not recognized by the firm so the retained earning as a part of ownership capital as a part of long term sources of funds and as a part of internally generated so let's continue with next topic that is trade credit trade credit is a part of short term sources of fund externally generated as well as it is of shorter duration that may be one year less than 12 months but let us understand what is trade credit trade credit is the credit extended by one trader to another for the purchase of goods and services maine aap se credit par kuch kharida आपसे क्रेडिट पर कुछ खरीदना जिस अमाउंट के लिए जिस सर्टन अमाउंट के लिए देन इट विल बी कॉल्ड द ट्रेड क्रेडिट विद द हेल्प ऑफ ट्रेड क्रेडिट दट गुड कैन बी इमीडिएटली परचेज और गुड कैन बी परचेज विदाउट मेकिंग इमीडिएट पेमेंट एंड सच क्रेडिट अपियर्स इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सिंडी क्रेडिटर्स और अकाउंट पेबल this is the uh, term or the trade credit is the source which is commonly used by the business organizations for the short term financing that is for less than one year and uh, for this that the customer uh, who is having good financial strength and goodwill he she only can enjoy this facility or the source of finance this uh, the volume of period of credit means that you will be get credit for the uh, one month two month three months or so on that depends upon the various factors what is the reputation of your uh, business agar aapki reputation market mein achhi nahi hai ki uh, earlier you have uh, purchased the goods on the credit basis and you have not make the made the payment then you will not be able to enjoy this facility if the financial position of uh, the purchasing person or purchasing firm is not good even the financial position of seller seller ki apni position achhi nahi hai seller is not in a position to uh, sell you on the credit basis in you will not be able to enjoy this facility volume of purchase past record of payment piche bhi aap do teen baar credit pe goods purchased karke gaye aur uh, jo hai wo पेमेंट आपने नहीं की या पेमेंट अच्छे टाइम पर नहीं कर पाए तो सच आर द फैक्टर्स विच अफेक्ट द ट्रेड क्रेडिट पोजिशन द टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड क्रेडिट में वेरी फ्रॉम इंडस्ट्री टू इंडस्ट्री ऐसा नहीं कि एक बिजनेस दो महीने के लिए इजीली क्रेडिट प्रोवाइड कर रहा है तो दूसरा बिजनेस भी इजीली प्रोवाइड करेगा इट मे वेरी फ्रॉम वन इंडस्ट्री टू अनदर एज वेल एज इट मे वेरी फ्रॉम इवन वेरी फ्रॉम वन कस्टमर टू कस्टमर merits of trade credit yes no doubt is con- it's convenient and continuous source of funds to whom it is available jinko ye available ho sakta hai unke liye convenient and continuous source of funds hai and trade credits may be readily available in the case of credit worthiness aapki credit worthiness aapki credit paying capacity achhi hai to it is readily available to you as well as you are known to the seller with the help of trade credit the sales of an organization can be promoted can be increased and uh, if an organization want to increase its inventory level in order to meet expected rise mujhe lag raha hai ki meri sales jo hai wo bahut zyada hongi aur uske liye mujhe stock chahiye to jo hai wo the organization may use trade credit to finance its stock or its sale 
and one more another favorable point for the trade credit is that it does not need any kind of charge on the assets means aapko udhar mein goods purchase karne ke liye short term par udhar mein goods purchase karne ke liye kisi tarah ki fixed assets ko mortgage nahi rakhna padta that means your fixed assets are free to be used in another way for the another way limitations of trade credit limitations of trade credit say that availability of easy and flexible trade credit facilities may induce a firm to indulge in over trading aap sochte hain aapko credit pe goods mil jayengi easily mil jayengi isiliye jo hai wo aap na required hote hain bhi generally lots of goods jo hai wo collect kar lete hain which will uh, in lead to the risk of the firm for making the payment but those the companies with the limited uh, cash generating uh, capacity they can arrange the limited funds through the trade credit or uh, trade credit is generally generally a costly resource of as i have said that no interest is to be paid easily available but if agar aap kuch goods cash mein purchase karna chahe to these are easily available to you but अगर आपको वही चीज क्रेडिट में परचेज करनी है तो वेरियस डिस्काउंटेड डिस्काउंट्स व्हेन यू कैन एंजॉय वाइल परचेजिंग ऑन द कैश बेसिस यू आर नॉट एबल टू एंजॉय दोस कैश डिस्काउंट्स और अदर काइंड्स ऑफ डिस्काउंट तो इट्स ऑल फॉर द डे